Have you wanted to use your home equity to pay off debt or improve your house, but found the old way too painful? There's now a new, better option for accessing your home equity. It's called HomePace. Here's the key. It's not a loan, so there's no monthly payments or interest. Instead, HomePace gives you money up front as an investment in your home. That's right. You get money that you can use however you want without the burden of monthly payments. Then someday when you decide to sell, you share a portion of the gains or losses in your home's value with HomePace. That means if your home's value drops, HomePace takes a loss too. HomePace gives homeowners a better choice to access home equity. No monthly payments, no interest. To get an instant quote, go to HomePace.com quote. It takes less than five minutes. That's HomePace slash quote to get started. If you look around, there are so many ways to make a difference. At Capella University, our FlexPath format gives you a different way to earn your degree. Take courses at your speed. Move on whenever you're ready. Education should fit your life. Learn more at capella.edu. This is Find Your Daily Calm. I'm Sel Gaston. Welcome. Today's episode is a special episode. We have posted with permission another podcast chat I was fortunate to have been invited to last month. Fellow podcaster Katie Mashler is the producer and host of the Quest for New Inspiration podcast. Katie invited me to talk about the importance of remembering to breathe properly and how I started Find Your Daily Calm about a year ago. I'm grateful to have had that conversation with Katie. This is a first at Find Your Daily Calm. Katie is the host of the Quest for New Inspiration podcast and founder of New Inspiration Media. In 2020, she started her self-produced podcast, The Quest for New Inspiration, where she interviewed all types of people about their encouraging personal stories in the hopes of inspiring anyone that presses play. We sure hope you enjoy this episode. But before you listen, here are a few words from our partners. On this week's episode, I am joined by Sel Gaston. He is a mindful coach as well as the podcast host of Finding Your Daily Calm. I had the opportunity to be featured on his podcast recently and got to know even more about Sel and found out that he is such an amazing inspiration. I hope that he inspires you as much as he inspired me. My name is Sel, Sel Gaston. I am a mindfulness coach. And I'm also the creations officer, the chief creations officer of World Stage International, which is a corporate training company as well as a personal development training company in based in the in Manila currently. And I'm happy to be here. Thank you for having me. So I know you from a podcast. How does that kind of twirl into your kind of career and life? <laughs> oh, what happened was in 2020. The things got so crazy at work. I was still in a in a corporate post in a in a in a job where I thought was the dream job because it paid well, and uh, I was treated well enough. However, the the pandemic had plenty of surprises. So in 2021, I decided that I couldn't take any more of those surprises i was stressed out fatigued and exhausted from you believe it from the work from home thing and then i decided early in 2021 to leave work and decide to be a podcaster my category the category that i chose was mental health because everyone needed it or i felt everyone needed it so i wanted to do Something that has to do with meditation, which is what you can see in my podcast and find your daily calm. So from there, mid, yeah, yeah, mid 2021, that started the podcast. But we don't just read or guide meditations. We also have literary works that are what you would classify as calming. So that's how it started. Yeah. So did you like, were you involved in this like, positive mindset coaching thing before the pandemic or did that kind of start then with the podcast oh that was before the pandemic i've been uh i started out as a high school teacher after i graduated from university 
And then it evolved into corporate training. And as everyone knows in the corporate world, that the, the coaching and the mentoring thing was big, still is. And prior to that, even before I was, uh, I taught in high school, I was already a meditator. I'm a, I'm a transcendental meditation uh, practitioner, though I am uh, a Christian Catholic. Uh, it doesn't really matter if uh, you have other faiths. So the practice of TM is actually helping myself and hopefully other people too to function better in whatever they do. In, in that case, I was teaching and then I tra- transitioned to uh, corporate work. What kind of led to your passion to help other people? Whether that be through teaching, through coaching, or through podcasting? Oh, there's that, I don't know, this may sound cliche, but there's that fulfillment that when people come up to you and say simple things like, hey, that's that's something else. I think that could work for me. And then they come up to you again a couple of days after, maybe even a week, even a month, they would say, that really worked for me. And I felt much better. And I functioned at work. I improved my, my work. Hopefully the work ethic as well. So one of my favorite questions to ask life coach, people who have to be in this positive mindset all the time. Yeah. What do you do when you're not in a positive mindset or not so you're not feeling so positive today? Or what do you do? Interesting question. People in their idea of positive mindset is that you just brush it off or totally disregard it and change your mindset right away. That doesn't work. In my opinion, you would have to ask that negative thing, that negative thought that's bugging you, that's disrupting your, the way you operate. You would have to ask that thing or situation, why are you here? In meditation, I mean, you, would, you could treat it as if it were an entity and ask, why are you here? What purpose do you serve at this moment? And then you find your breath. Once you've calmed down and the breath takes over, the acknowledgement of that negative thing or situation is something that's really not as bad as you would think or feel it is. That's when transformation happens. The illusion is that once you tell yourself, change your mind right now, yeah, that could work too. But it's like having a, having stubbed your toe on the bedpost. You don't just say, go away, or you step on a Lego piece. That pain is there. But if you wait for it and ask, why did I step on that Lego piece? Why did I stub my toe on the bedpost? What happened there? You realize that the pain slowly goes away. It's, it sounds uh, commonsensical if these were the examples that I use, but It's the same as pain or disruption or the negative thoughts that sometimes constantly invade. I love that analogy because every single one of us have stepped on a Lego, whether we have children (laughs) or a babysitter. We have stepped on a Lego and we know what that pain feels like. So I love it. (laughs) Do you have any particular people or kind of places that you go for inspiration for maybe yourself or to share with other people? Well, I can tell you one thing. I found a new podcast, the New Inspirations podcast, which is your show as another resource, not just for me, but for the people I care about and teach and coach. I'm very grateful for that. There are also things that People ought to practice. That is the acknowledgement of the breath. And that's the first default thing that you could go to if you are looking at inspiration, looking at calming yourself down or finding a tranquil time. Breathing is an exercise that's widely underrated. So there are plenty of ways to do that. But the most simple is close your mouth, breathe through your nose, and try to have longer exhales. If you inhale for four, four seconds, if you could do six or seven seconds of exhale, you could actually try that anytime and you will see how the anxiety or the discomfort or sometimes even the pain would dissipate. Not instantly, but you could actually feel it Yeah, dissipating. Yeah. 
I've def my mom is definitely she when I get like sick or in my little anxiety attacks, my mom is definitely talking or tries to tell me to breathe deeply. And I think it's very, very important, even though it's in the moment. Sometimes may be hard to like calm yourself down. How would you how do you recommend to calm yourself down when you're like you're trying to deep breathe, but you're just like not getting there? <laughs> Well, that's that's an interesting question. Inhale and exhale, the deep inhales or longer exhales. Let me explain it briefly. When you inhale, there's a part of your brain that's called the, the sympathetic nervous system that kicks in. And when it kicks in, it's as if you are preparing for a fight, something that you have to confront. There's probably conflict. There's probably an argument that you're about to start with another person, a loved one, maybe. And you'll notice when you're preparing for an argument, you would inhale deeply as if you're preparing for something. So that's when that kicks in, that's your signal for preparation. So it somewhat brings you to that place. But when you exhale, hopefully it's a longer exhale through the nose, the Part of your brain is called the parasympathetic nervous system is the part of your brain telling you to calm down. That's what's telling you to, it's okay to to say it's okay and everything's going to be fine. So when you do that or do more longer exhales, you naturally calm down and people, most people don't know that. So inhaling is great. Of course, you need to take in air, but I have a doctor friend of mine, his name's Dr. Florendo. He says, you have carbon dioxide in your body. And carbon dioxide is a a vehicle where toxins and all the bad things ride. When you exhale, the carbon dioxide is the vehicle that transports all those toxins, those bad things in your body, outside of your body. That's why you suddenly feel better. You could try that with how you're feeling right now, maybe if you're, you have a cold or allergies. I did that. And you know, what happened was I did not just feel calmer. I got rid of my allergic rhinitis. I slept better. I got rid of my, just a little bit, my snoring. <laughs> my wife told me it's just a little bit, but I'm still working on that. So people ought to try that. You can try that, Katie. I will definitely try that tonight. I will put it on my list of things to do right after this. Um, Well, do you have any last piece of advice to share with me today? First of all, thank you for having me. And if I were to give advice, not just to you, but to everyone else here and the the listeners in your show, don't forget the breath. The the breath. No, the breath is the most. It's not even inexpensive because it's free. It's your go-to. Don't forget to do that. It's what will help you be calmer because I always believe there's a writer, always forget his name. He says, calmness is the cradle of power. Calmness is the cradle of power. If you're in that space, you could always make better decisions. You could have better relationships and you could operate much better in the world that you are operating in. So breathe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, if anybody wants to listen to your podcast, learn more about you or connect, where can they go? Oh, the name of the podcast is Find Your Daily Calm, available wherever you get your podcast. It sounds so cliche. Almost all podcasters say that. <laughs> available wherever you listen to Spotify or Apple Podcasts. And Katie, I'm looking forward to having you as our guest voice in Find Your Daily Calm. Just want to tell everybody that it's not about not just about guided meditations that you can listen to. There's also literary works that aim to make you feel calmer or or better, whatever you're feeling in that situation. So looking forward to your voice, Katie. Well, I am so excited as well. And thank you so much for your time today. That was amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. I thank Katie for having me on her show. Katie started the quest for new inspiration when she herself needed some inspiration. 
Her goal is to share inspirational stories from all types of people in hopes of inspiring anyone that presses play. By sharing her podcast, she is challenging herself to improve her confidence while growing her podcasting and networking skills. Her website, newinspiration.net. You can also find her on Instagram at Katie underscore Mashler and at the quest for new inspiration. She is also on Twitter at New Inspo Pod. Listen to the quest for new inspiration podcast available wherever you get your podcasts. May you be calm, may you be at ease, and may peace be upon you. Tonight, let's order Outback for delivery and enjoy a night in with the mates. Like Bloomin' Fried Shrimp, perfect for dunking. That famous Bloom sauce is calling my shrimp's name. Or a returning favourite, the Kingsland Pasta. Twirl your way into tender steak and perfectly grilled shrimp. And sugar steak marinated with brown sugar and honey. A perfect mix of juicy and sweet. So now you can enjoy bold flavours all from the comfort of your own home. Order these limited time features in the Outback app today and make your night in crave-worthy. Outback Steakhouse. When you look into Discover Student Loans, what you see might surprise you. We can help cover your college costs, don't charge you fees, and give you cash rewards for good grades. Ready to apply? Visit discoverstudentloans.com. Limitations apply.